we did say last week, Lewis, yeah. that we were all going to bring a new segment to the show because I think mm-hmm. us and even the listeners of the show will agree that the segments on this show have not evolved much in a hundred episodes. Yep. Uh, we we hear your feedback. Mm-hmm. There, some are getting a little bit stale. We've been doing thoughts for a while. Mm-hmm. We've been doing celeb spots for a while. So we thought uh, each of us this week we got ch- we challenged each other to bring in a brand new segment each with an opener. You pitch the segment. We do a trial run, and then at the end, the audience votes as to which segment we should continue doing regularly on the show. Yeah, I would. I'm pretty keen to hear Ruben's. Oh, Ruben, I didn't download the audio for your pitch. Is it essential? Now that's lit. I've got. Uh, no, it's not essential. I've uh, got your as... opener. That's fine. The opener will be it, the the. The other audio was just as a background if we wanted to do an example of the segment. I can just do some a cappella stuff if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. we can that's vibe fine. it. Um, just based off the opener, we'll do the background noise for you. Now, Ruben, do you need to set up your opener at all, or should I just hit it? No, I got, I'll set it up. I'll set it up. I'll pitch oh. it to you, like a, yeah. like a Shark Tank sort of thing if you want. Yeah. All right, cool. And we have um, to see if we're going to invest or not mm-hmm. in your segment. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Guys, everyone loves gossip. Mm. Am I right? <laughs> yep. We love we love giving out gossip. Mm-hmm. We love getting gossip. We love holding yep. gossip. Mm-hmm. So uh, what I thought we'd do is a segment where one of us might have a little piece of gossip, or we, or even better, we take gossip from listeners, uh, just things that are going on in their life, and uh, we'll just sort of tell each other. Obviously, we're going to keep it hush hush. Mm-hmm. Don't want this getting out anywhere. Uh, uh, <laughs> so hang on. So we just um. So it's not like celebrity gossip. It's not like TMZ where we report on news. It's like more like local gossip. It's more like, it's, oh, Frank, oh, like, oh, did you hear Frank's uh, yeah. lemon trees growing over the fence? But, and, you know, neighbor Deborah doesn't Ooh, like it. I've got, I've exactly. Got it's called, called personal goss. Yeah. Great. Well, we, we can do an example. Save it. Save it, Lewis. Okay. All right. You ready to hit the opener? Um, can I suggest so, yeah, some yeah, background might... noise? Can I try it just, just off that vibe? I've got an idea for a background yeah. noise. Yeah. Sure. <gasps> oh, my God. No. <laughs> Yes. Well, you, you're going to kick it's yourself true. when you hit my opener. <laughs> All right. Go now? On. This is personal. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I fucked up the timing there. O-M-G. Was that it? I get I didn't put a lot of work into the opener because... I didn't have a lot of time, but <laughs> did you just go <laughs> straight into a fucking mic and be like, "Yeah, that's the opener"? <laughs> I don't think you guys. I didn't hear the opener very well, but there was a. Did you hear it? I think I'll it was play it right. again. We'll play it again. Everyone's silent. <gasps> O-M-G. Scandal. Oh, you did say scandal. Yeah. Scandal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. I didn't Thank hear you. it properly. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Yeah. So uh, keep the names anonymous if we want, especially if we're getting them from listeners. They might lo- they might want that, and then we'll just sort of uh, bang out four or five pieces of goss. Uh, Have you got scoop, any goss to scoop. start off? Uh, not. I've made some up because I don't I don't really have any goss in my life. So I'll do mine, <laughs> and then uh, and then we can get Lewis yep. on his right. So it might go something like this. There's a little bit of background music. Oh, what? I'm Whisp- picturing psst. like um, what the I was gonna say, say that's not bad. Yeah. I was gonna do like maybe just like ambience of a restaurant or something or an office. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's better. All right. I'll um, make some noise. Clink, 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 clink. Oh, boys, boys, uh, just gather around, gather around. Yeah. Um, Waiter. Keep this. Waiter, my food's this, cold. <laughs> yeah, Ruben, what? Hey, just keep this between us. Luke, There's a but, hair um, in it. My uh, my boss Are you from even work. A chef? Not not this work. Another yeah. job. Yeah. Uh, she's she's uh, she's getting married. I think oh. she's already three Is months pregnant. Also come. Oh wow! Soup? So oh, shit. That's that's disgusting. crazy. So so she's gonna be might be pregnant at the wedding. Bit of a shotgun wedding scenario. I don't know. Maybe. Do you reckon she's in love with him? couldn't tell no, you because this is made up who knows it depends what yeah. hypothetical hang on sorry exactly. the person at my table is complaining lewis what's wrong <laughs> the waiter has served me a cold soup with hair and cum in it <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jeez, a bit of cum soup. <laughs> disgusting hey lewis what's your piece of goss oh tell us. hang on i'll can you go away i've got some goss to tell my friends Jeez. Um, if he's got <laughs> goss that's better than i got cum in my soup i'll be very surprised well uh this goes back to Australia post demolishing my brick wall. Uh, I've oh, yeah. actually quiet, quiet, Lewis. Quiet. Oh, I've actually discovered that I have a nosy neighbour. I have one of those. Oh, 
and I have seen this oh, woman nice. step onto my front yard behind my fence to look at the rubble four times in a row <laughs> while I'm home. Four times. Four times. Four times. And I bumped into her as I was leaving my house, and she said, what happened to the wall? And I explained the situation, and she said, do you mind my asking? Was he Indian? <laughs> and I said, "Whoa, I don't think that matters." And I almost said, "That's some very Frankston goss." And racist neighbor, racist nosy neighbor, and also very strange behavior coming from an Asian woman. <laughs> well, she's not Indian. <laughs> just think that so th that she it doesn't mean asian the... people can't discriminate no, i think they i still... just think that that it's like you're the stereotype for that i've never heard like oh indian men are terrible drivers i've never heard that um yeah but uh that's my gosh i think that went well great that's good awesome. i think that's a actually good segment yeah. so now it's making me feel a little bit self-conscious about my segment because mm -hmm. that's uh -huh. actually good and i didn't realize we we're pitching good ones uh what, Boys, <laughs> what did you think we were doing i Look, I am feeling so confident after hearing that absolute rubbish. Um, <laughs> not well. It is a good segment. It's a great segment, but comparatively to my idea, rubbish. Right, sure. Fair. Um, now, I instead of creating an opener, I have opted the other route. I've actually created a trailer for the segment that explains what the segment will be. Um, okay. And this is just like picture. This is like it's a trailer. It's summer. This is the big box office hit that's going to come. This is my idea for the segment that I think we will be doing very regularly because it's going to win. All right. This summer, the most anticipated segment of all time comes to the Luke and Lewis show directly after the 60 second big brother recap it's time for the big brother recap recap oh! 61 <laughs> second edition 61 <laughs> seconds of pure recap recap discussing how keelan's segment went and was it even worth bringing to the show at all I love find it. out if this segment is chosen to be a regular segment <laughs> the big brother recap 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 a recap on how the recap went was the recap recap worth doing find out next time on the <laughs> let's do this segment i think it would be funny <laughs> So that's like uh, <laughs> I love it. Just, I really like just it. Just a trailer. I think these are boys. Well, these are great segments. Yeah. Jeez, me and Keelan really better bring the heat here because that's you, you, Ruben's one could actually be done on the regular. Mm. So could yours, Lewis. Is because I think <laughs> Keelan's segment calls for a little bit of constructive criticism mm. a lot of the time. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think that's great. Yeah, I think the so. only problem is. Didn't we vote to get rid of the Big Brother recap? No, <laughs> all, all the comments are saying, bring it back, bring it back, so... I think there are about three comments. Yeah. Uh, very general, all saying the all the comments. All the comments <laughs> were about how shit iPhones were, you fucking liar! <laughs> well, there's, there's, there's one more week of Big Brother, so next week's the finale episode of the, the recap. Oh, well, then okay, it's so gonna we be the get finale one. of the recap recap. <laughs> 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 All right, so on Thursday's episode, can we expect that? Or will it be next week, Keelan? No, I'll, I'll skip it. We'll save up. We'll save up. So we'll do two minutes of Big Brother segments next week. <laughs> okay. okay. <clears throat> Great. Next Tuesday, look forward to Keelan's Big Brother recap and then Lewis's uh, Big Brother recap recap yeah. afterwards. It's a very quick turnaround. Which... It happens instantaneously, but I think it's going to be great. <laughs> yeah. So as okay. soon as the timer finishes on Keelan's recap, <laughs> Lewis's ticking <laughs> clock starts. Yeah, 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 it does. Okay, uh, great. Well, well, from that uh, feedback that that uh, Lewis is giving me, can I do my segment next? <laughs> your, yeah. your intro, no. yeah. Okay, go. Yeah, it's. Oh, I'll. I gotta preface it first. It's yeah. nothing to do with Big Brother, and it's. Uh, <laughs> Luke actually said the title of the segment when he said constructive criticism. So, hit the opener, Luke. 
Change the font of the title. Add a different caption. Clean up those cuts. Change the thumbnail. Add some text. Add an unnecessary amount of effects to your audio. <laughs> this is Constructive Criticism Corner. <laughs> I had a segment titled Constructive Criticism as well. That was in my drafts. Oh, That's and you might crazy. want to mute the uh, the background audio. I forgot that it's copyrighted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we um, used the Gary Glitter song as your audio. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this kind of just pretty self-explanatory. We go around the room and give each other feedback yep. or mm. constructive criticism on our own personal videos. Yeah. <laughs> so for, for Luke, I might say, hey, Luke, add in more D's Nuts jokes. <laughs> so it's so it's not about the show at all. It's more just about our things that are unrelated where we're just shitting on your friends kind of thing. Oh, no, not shitting. It's constructive. It's constructive, so it's helpful. of course. <laughs> yeah, so Ruben, maybe next time yeah. add a D's Nuts joke towards the end, you know, when your background characters talk to each other. Can I get a second opinion on this? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Lewis, I was thinking more uh, these nuts cameos in your your videos. Okay, it feels like there's a, a, a similar kind of theme of your feedback. <laughs> Jeez, this one has I'm got Lewis. Criticism. You uploaded a video <laughs> on your channel that just said, "I love." Jelly, it's yummy, my tummy. <laughs> I, I, I just feel like you could be doing anything else there. Because I think that's just a strange thing to upload. I hey, like mate, as someone, yummy, who directs, <laughs> as someone who directs every episode of Keelan's Mealans, I'm pretty offended by that. Uh, obviously, he consults me on all creative decisions yeah. before uploading. Um, one thing, I have some constructive feedback yeah. about that. Uh, you did upload a video on Keelan's Mealans, which is Keelan's YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah, um, thanks for the shout out. No, oh, shout out it wasn't band, a shout actually. out. We take that back. Don't <laughs> check it out. Th thanks for oh, the reference. Hang on. That's a, well, Boys, a reference, my art. Yeah. Uh, gonna have to do a quick pause because my battery just died on my camera. Now that's right. epic. Oh. Now a you can give me some feedback. constructive feedback yeah. Yeah. while my no, camera's we, you off. You know what? We don't need to pause. We can just lose Luke for a little bit. It's his, uh, you know, clearly I have a superior <laughs> angle now. Before, you, you probably maybe want to only look at Luke. But now, I think uh, with my setup, I have the, the best angle uh, in the game. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think that um, Kiel and I like that segment. In fact, I like all of these segments. I think they're all great <laughs> ideas so far. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty par for the course when it comes to the show, isn't it? <laughs> uh, while we're waiting for Luke, do you want me to pitch Devlin's idea? Oh, yes. Yep, okay. Okay, so he sent me an email with everything. It says, segment idea, pointless achievements. Listeners, se listeners send in their most pointless achievements. Uh, some examples would be participation awards. Mm. Uh, and his... his Example is a cross country run for a participation award yeah. or being SRC captain in grade three. That's good. I like that. Yeah, I think that's good. I think yeah. I came, uh, I think, I think we did a phoner on radio similar to that once. Oh, okay. Yeah, I well, think so. Cause we used to do that segment called little wins. Yeah. Where we used to celebrate people's small wins. Like when you're, press the elevator button and then it opens straight away just like the little things in life that yes. are satisfying uh it's not exactly the same but i think it is similar which means that was a good segment though that was good that kind of reminds me of the uh noosa fm radio we listened to on tour when we did they did mediocre monday remember when i was on radio to talk oh, about yeah, like two good. blue v's there was nothing better on the regional tour than like when we were driving through every place yeah. we just find whatever the closest like dial was of their local G radio it's station Demo and Wado on hot tomato yeah it was so good and you just like listen to their like local news yeah. and it's always like oh down at the bloody f down at the wharf you know gary johnson accidentally put his boat in the water but it you know he <laughs> he backed the trailer too far in we're, we're live with gary now oh yeah guys sorry i backed my boat a little bit <laughs> far in today and it was literally that, yeah. like on repeat, all the way up the east coast of Australia. I would highly recommend. <laughs> really, really good stuff. Um, so, Killen, is that all the segment you've got? Is it time for mine? Oh, uh, yeah, but I was thinking maybe you could talk about Keelan's Millens before you were interrupted. Oh, sorry, yeah. That. my I, I hadn't <laughs> given my constructive feedback, of course. Yeah, uh, yeah I was saying that uh, I was watching your Jelly episode, and mm. there was one bit where you just actually stopped talking. And... <laughs> And it, you weren't even eating, you were just thinking. 
and you didn't edit it out. You were just, I watched you think for about 15 to 20 seconds. And uh, then you just went, oh, anyway. And then uh, <laughs> at one point you made, you said something and then replied to yourself and said, that's what she said. And then high fived yourself yeah. as well. It was pretty embarrassing. Uh, that is a good one. <laughs> no. I was filming it through a mirror. So I said it to myself and air fived myself. Yeah, Keelan's just moved out um, and he's already incredibly lonely. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, well, I've got... Uh, so what I've done is, uh, if you don't like this segment, don't worry. I've got about... I've gone for quantity over quality. Oh, so I've good. got about seven, <laughs> seven segments <laughs> okay. I could pitch. Yeah, well, why, why don't you pitch all of them? Why not? <laughs> no, no, no. I think we just, we just stop. You know, like you just let me know which one's the one that I'll just stop pitching. Uh, do, but I've got they, about are they seven. seven different openers? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Great. Okay. Uh, this first one is my best one. So I'll start with my strongest. Yep, good. Um, okay, good. All right. This is uh, so obviously a good friend on the show. Uh, we all love him. Radio Mike. Yeah. He comes up a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, the, and I think he usually comes up on this show actually by talking about come. He comes a lot. Yeah. Yeah, but like often we usually bring it up because we go, oh, Radio Mike says something funny the other, the other day and we bring it to the show. So I just thought that could be a segment. Okay. Um, so this okay. is my idea. You're speaking to a freshly cummed mic. <laughs> Sup, big boy. And something else about cum. This is shit that Mike says. Right? That's so good. We just read out shit that Radio Mike says. Yep. Uh, this yep. is an example one. Uh -huh. uh, just uh -huh. the other day. Oh. Oh, why has it stopped recording? Disc too slow. <laughs> Luke has what slow discs. <laughs> what? Constructive feedback for you there, buddy. From my computer? <laughs> Boys, my disc is. Hang on. We're back? <laughs> my disc is sped up. Always right. been talking about Luke's disc. Mm. Man, I'm not having a good run this episode. All right. <laughs> um, so this is going to be a bitch to sink. Okay. Lewis? Yep. Uh, so, he. this is a message I got from Mike. Yep. Uh, on the 15th of July at 12.33 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, and it just says, out of the blue, no context, no, hey, Luke, how you going? He just said, have you ever done a big shit just before a Zoom meeting? It feels weird, like you're hiding a secret. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's great. That is very much Mike, isn't it? Yep. So I was thinking that could be like just a regular segment. But the problem with this mm. segment is there's a couple problems. Yeah. I haven't actually run it by Mike yet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and also, I worry that it will become unorganic if he knows about the segment. Because mm. he'll be overthinking it. Because he's an overthinker. Yeah, he does overthink. Uh, another text... Uh, in what I assume uh, is a response to one of my tweets. He said, the guy from Emperor's New Groove is Kronk, not Crump. And I said, is he, That's good. Is he getting crunk? And he ignored that. So he didn't like that Rightly one. Rightly so. Yeah. <laughs> um, there was another one, 30th yeah. of April. I think I may have actually brought this up on the show. This mm -hmm. is an older one. Uh, he said, dude, I'm looking pretty hot right now. You got to admit, but then didn't send me a photo for reference. <laughs> so he just like, he just like, I just had yeah. to assume that he was, so I guess he was correct. He was looking. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. And, well, what's, uh, what's your next, so yeah. what's your next segment? So you don't like that as well, a regular? I just feel like that. I feel like this, we could move in a different direction. I don't not like it. I just feel like there yeah. could be something more out there. Yeah, okay. Well, this one is another one. Um. Hmm, that's a bit odd. So this is a segment. Do they all have the just... same music? Did you just <laughs> no. play the music and then say a bunch of different sentences and then you were like, yeah, this is good for the show? <laughs> I did yeah. uh, think of a lot of them on the spot yeah. as I was recording the opener for shit that Mike says. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, and, and this is why you were, what you were like, I've got seven ideas. And I said, oh, we should just go through all of them. You were like, oh, nah. Is it because they all, they're all the same? No, no, this is, mm, that seems odd. Oh, wait, what was it called again? Hang on. Hmm, <laughs> that's a bit odd. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a, a bit, bit odd. odd. Yeah, so this is, mm, odd. that's yeah. a bit odd. Yeah. Um, and this is one where I just, if I see something odd during the week, I just bring it to the show and we yeah. all go, oh, that is odd. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. This one was a bit odd. Mm -hmm. uh, Amy Shark has released a shark 
documentary with Mick Fanning. That's a bit odd. That's a bit odd. It is a bit odd, isn't it? Is because it on, that's like, like the you... Discovery Channel or anything. I don't know. It's it's on a. I don't really understand what it's on, but it's definitely like a real thing. And uh, it, that's kind of like you going to a weapons enthusiast mm. and making a documentary on spears. And the only thing you have in common with that is your last name. Or going to Gordon Ramsay and making a documentary about asparagus spears. Yeah, it's uh, very confusing. And I'll be like, well, that's a bit odd yeah. for Lewis to do. Yeah. So yeah, that's that segment. Yeah, that's yeah. That, I, I kind of like that. Yeah. You like that better than the Mike one? Uh, uh, yes. Sorry, Mike. Can I give some constructive criticism on that segment? No, we're, well, not, we're not doing, doing that, segment. that segment anymore. We're not yeah. doing it? Yeah, we've moved on <laughs> from continue. that segment. Sorry. <laughs> and also, we're not even sure if that's going to be a segment. So can uh, you just not? No, hang on. I'm you so can sorry. give me some... Change the font of the title. Add a different caption. Clean up those cuts. Change the thumbnail. Add some text. <laughs> Add an unnecessary amount of effects to your audio. <laughs> this is Constructive Criticism Corner. Yep, Jeez, go on, it, it went for a went for a lot longer that time, didn't it? Mm. Yeah, it did. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my constructive criticism was that uh, mm, that's a bit odd is not really a segment. It's just a way of framing something you already would have brought to the show. <laughs> that's yeah, but it's that's got a an good opener. bit of criticism. That's very con- <laughs> that's I'd say that's deconstructive criticism because now I just hate that segment. <laughs> but it's but it's like it is a segment because it's got an opener and everything. Well, and that, yeah, just because you have an well, opener doesn't mean it's a segment. Yeah. All right. Well, I've got another one. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm, what a peculiar fact. That's what? that's the same segment. <laughs> no, it's not. It's peculiar facts. How is that different? Well, because like butterflies taste their hind feet. Taste mm, with that's their a bit feet. odd. Uh, oh yeah, it tastes weird there, hard <laughs> no, Okay, that one's bad. That's a bad segment, for sure. <laughs> Alright, we'll just... <laughs> Strange occurrences. That's the same segment! No, this one's strange. No, that's the same segment! It's a strange occurrence that Amy Shark did something. <laughs> Conspiracy chat. Well, that's a little bit different. Music doesn't match at all. <laughs> we can talk about like um uh the, the 911 or um like the <laughs> COVID's not real or something like that. Yeah, Wayfair <laughs> selling kids <laughs> in their cabinets. Yeah, yeah there's, there's something in that. You would have to definitely change the opener. Is that it? Was that all seven? I I got two more. <laughs> yeah, well, just <laughs> fucking play them. Uh, is anyone a bit sad? Yes. Let's all talk about our feelings. Welcome to Luke's Unprofessional Therapy. <laughs> and you guys just tell me how you're feeling. Yeah, I feel mm. uh, frustrated that I keep hearing this music. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'm feeling. Yeah, I also uh, actually double, uh, got a lot of use out of this music, uh, even for the OnlyFans segment. People I will be familiar that. with it. <laughs> oh, from, yeah. Uh, it's almost like I only downloaded one royalty-free track mm. before the show. <laughs> yep. Well, eight uh, segments. What how are you that? feeling, Keelan? <laughs> Keelan's feelings. Oh, that would have been better. Damn it. Yeah, mm. that was what Keelan's feelings originally was. But Mike told me that that might be too depressing. So it changed the feelings. <laughs> well, it depends what your feelings are, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, sometimes. Feeling... And if you're feeling bad, you can tell me. This is Luke's unprofessional therapy. I'm not feeling good. My back hurts a bit, but that's just because of the chair I'm sitting in. Yeah, this segment sucks. All right, we'll go to the last one. <laughs> um, this one kind of, uh, you guys will appreciate it, but uh, yeah. More of a reference to something uh, Ruben said before the show today. Does anyone on the team have bald nuts? Let's go <laughs> round and overshare. I think Lewis missed that one. He had his headphones off. Yeah, my sound stopped Factually working. Actually, inaccurate. Oh, that's right. I- I'll play it again. No, I don't think it's necessary. Does anyone uh, on actually. the team have bald nuts? Let's go round and overshare. <laughs> I like that one. I, no, I, don't I think. think we should do that. <laughs> 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 I 